What's up? This is the smooth ride right here. This here is an 86 Honda Helix 250. When I was a kid, I wanted one of these so bad. I did have a hand-me-down Honda Spree, which was 50cc and uh, absolute birth control on that one. But this was like the pinnacle of cool mopeds, scooters. Uh, I like to call it a chop. This is sweet chop, sweet chopper. No, these are cool. I love these things. These are really neat. But this one, it runs really good. Uh, I've had it for about a year and a half. I really like it, uh, but the gauges don't work. Everything on it is crusty. The, the, all the plastic is falling apart. So we're gonna strip this thing down, get rid of all the plastic, clean up all the cables and wires, make it look really cool. We got a whole Mad Max kind of thing going on for this. And then we're gonna show you guys how to do all of it for your chop. Hey guy, what? Hey! So first what thing we're gonna do is strip this whole thing down. This, this video is all about the tear down. We are saving all of these parts because these are getting harder to find. A lot of this stuff is still good. We just don't have enough. You know, I'm, I'm missing a bunch of pieces. So I'll sell some of this stuff so, so that it can be reused. I don't want to just trash it. But first, take off the seat. And then we're going to start stripping. Oh, I mean the bike. I mean the bike. In the shop today, we've got Ben, my son, who's supposed to come on camera when I say his name. So this is Ben, my son, he's gonna help. And then we also have Brock, who also doesn't know how to follow a cue. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna start stripping this whole thing down. This does run, it actually runs really well. Uh, I don't have a battery and I actually pulled the, uh, I pulled the ignition module out to try on one of my other bikes because we were having some issues. But we're gonna start by taking all this back end stuff off. I do, that's one of the cool things about these Helixes is they have a trunk. And it, I have used this, it's so handy. But we've gotta get rid of it just because. Hey, look what I found. Still not coming off? Uh, no, that, that, that one will take this. This has a thousand foot pounds of reversing torque. You gotta use the right tool for the that. job. Let's lift it up. There we go. It's already looking pretty cool. Yes. Okay. Sit on it. Kind of what? For the seat, you should make it like a man's waist. What? So it's like a Ours? silicone mold of like a man's like lap. What? So it's like you're sitting on a man's lap. Now it's started. Mm. Both of my mirrors point towards me. Cause I'm the only thing I want to be looking at. All right, check myself out. All right, so this is, uh, we're gonna be building this car pretty custom, so we obviously have to start with a blueprint. So this is what the end product of this scooter will probably look like. We got a custom front, and some big old pipes in the back shooting flames. We're gonna be Hennessy swapping this motor. We're gonna be pushing around 300, uh, 3,000 horse, and uh, it's gonna be pretty sweet, guys. Ready your rides.
Oh, is it a parking brake? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Yep, hangs on your... The Honda sounds like. Okay, then we can take Dang. That's kind of cool. It's all stripped down. It's uh, definitely funky looking right now. We're gonna have to come up with some cool add ons. That exhaust is pretty lame. Yep. Straight pipe. Uh, these gauges don't work. So I have this. This is a uh, wind jammer for a Harley. And we're gonna put this on here. I think it's gonna look really cool. So this is what it looks like now. And that's what it looks like. So we're just gonna take these off. My power wash is broken. Yeah, fix these. You uh, use a torch, and it brings the oils to the surface, and it refinishes it, kind of. So, it could look cool. It could look cool if you do, you're gonna have to do some bath, for sure. Just get a, just get a wider handlebar. Buy it, buy a twenty dollar mountain bike handlebar and replace it. We have handlebars that we could use. Um, we have. Oh, it weld. No, I'm not worried about that. Hold on. I didn't realize I did that. Okay, so this is kind of cool. So this is the radiator, because this is water-cooled. That's one of the things that makes this a cool bike. It's a 250cc. It actually has some power. Uh, this thing will do 70 miles an hour. It's a little sketchy at 70, but it'll do it. But this is kind of cool because like a, a old bigger bikes it uses the frame as the water uh, jacket so this is the radiator coolant goes in this tube all the way back to the uh, engine now we can remove this and clean this all up and and pipe it differently which i think is what we're gonna do put the radiator in the back or what? and we're gonna change up a few of these things but i want to get this whole front end removed uh, so that we can clean all this up. Let's do that. I have a vision, dude. I have a vision. It's all in here. Alright, so one of the things we're going to do is we're going to take this exhaust off and I am going to build a custom uh, exhaust for it and make this a little bit louder. And we're going to go ahead and pull this. So I don't want to make a mess, so I'm just going to take this clamp, clamp down the uh, coolant hose that way I can pull I can pull this off and capture however much is in the engine and then we'll get the cooling radiator out so now I'll just put that in there get that out oh. By the way, this is crushed walnut shell. Uh, we use this for floor dry. It's easier and better than uh, kitty litter. It's cheaper too. And you can also use this in uh, a blast cabinet. It's really, really good for blasting, especially soft stuff like aluminum. It works really well, that's why I have it. Um, but it's cheap and it's reusable. And when you soak up oil, you can actually use this for fire starter. It works really, really well. This is an IAT coolant, which is inorganic acid technology. It's the classic green stuff. And this is really dangerous for dogs. So we'll clean this up, make sure that Culver doesn't get any of it. It's sweet sweet smelling and tasting so they animals will drink it and then it kills them 
I'm gonna go ahead and get, we're not gonna run these, I'm gonna get rid of these. Clean the side of this bike up a little bit. Use my tight reach here just because I really love this tool. So just take it. Oh. This side we also have to do the same thing with. Now that we've got the radiator, now that we've got the radiator piping removed, we can take the these brackets off. Okay, so we've got a couple of wires on here um, that I want to label so that I know, make sure that they get reconnected. This is the radiator fan. This is the radiator fan plug. Make sure that that gets redone. So now that's stripped down, what do you want to do with it? Well, the idea is to give it a kind of a Mad Max vibe. That's kind of what I'm going for. There's a, a bunch of different ways that we could take it. Um, I've seen these before, and I've seen people go from, you know, cool beach style. Um, you know, there's the really cool Japanese Bosozoku style, which is really, really cool, but those use all the plastics and all that, and our plastic just wasn't good enough. I would love to do one of those. They put them on airbags and slam them, and they're really, really crazy. But I'm just looking for something just stripped down, chopper style, um, you know, zombie land kind of zombie thing. Land. You know, that's kind of what I'm thinking, but with style. I don't want, you know, I'm not saying, you know, everything has to be black mm -hmm. or camo or anything like that. Um, but I want it to be, you know, kind of stripped down, racy, you know, just different. I want to be a little bit different from the others. You know, right. I've seen them with big ape hangers, and those are really cool. But I'm thinking, uh, you I'm know, thinking, a little cross between all I'm that. Thinking, Drag bars I'm would be really cool. Crotch rocket mixed with really cool <laughs> Harley <laughs> Davidson <laughs> scooter bike. Crotch rocket. You got the you got the oh, handlebars. That's something. Got your handlebars. You know, here you're down. Basically, a motorbike swapped scooter is what I was thinking would be the coolest thing. Well, I do have this. This is this is the this is the fairing. This is the one fairing that I want to put on. And now that we've got everything stripped off, because you're going to have to cut those handlebars. You're going to have to do different handlebars for that. Because we're going to do that anyway. That's way too hot. But that looks stupid. Oh, that looks sweet. That looks stupid there, but when you bring Actually, it down... Actually, hold on, hold on. Hold that up. Hold when that you bring up. it down here, dude, that's hard. That's cool. Hold this, hold this up like this, and, you know, it was just recently July 4th, and I've always kind of thought that this kind of looked like the uh, the alien head from, from Indi Independence Day. I think that's cool as hell. But I do, I do agree. I do agree. It's too, too much of a pod. Well, hold on. The seat's here. The seat's not going to change. The seat placement isn't going to change. We may change the seat itself, but where you sit doesn't change. So get some uh, some sweet pegs. No, we, I actually have something really cool planned for this. Now, I, it's not nothing new. I've seen it done before. 
but the plan is to actually take a skateboard and split it down the middle and make running boards out of the skateboard. That's my current plan. It may change. I may build something completely different uh, over here in the fab shop. You've got to, you've got your, your, your part, your foot brake is down here. So no matter what, you have to be able to have your foot here. So this is your, this is your, your foot position. I can have some, you know, chill bars down here, but your foot, your right foot has to be here. So no matter what, this is your position. And that's for cruising. So let me loosen this more. Yeah. Yeah, but then you get it's too tight, and then you're that's just silly. Huh? That's just silly. But see, you we would make we would make custom ones. Yeah. And we'll take we'll take this to here. Yeah, that would look awesome. That could be cool. Yeah. And we wouldn't even have to do a whole lot. We could just cut and. Yeah, because okay, okay, so here, so here. we got this here. Okay, and then you've got your pockets to protect your hands. Yeah. And we just swing these over, swing this over. Yeah. So that they're inside here. That and then that's see that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. I'm just gonna. I'm all I'm gonna do is cut this too. And. I can cut this tube and I can swing it this way. I will need to adjust this because yeah. I'll do that and it'll be like this. So I can, what I'll do is I'll cut this tube and I'll cut it at an angle so that I can swing these and then bring them back up how I want them. Bandsaw. What is that? Bandsaw. Now we're just gonna use our bandsaw real quick to cut this. Hold on. Swing these out. Although I gotta say, oh no, they're not. Uh, they're not too. It's not, that's actually. I thought that's pretty close. I, I don't think I'm gonna change it. So basically, this was what was holding the, the the like the brake lines in. So we're just gonna grind this off and put a bevel on our edge so that we can weld it back on. So now I've got a piece of 5 8 uh, bar stock. I don't have any tubing, otherwise I'd use tubing, but this is, this is an important part of this job. Now since we're welding this, we have to clean up these uh, these edges. So we're gonna we're gonna bevel this right here with a hand sander. Okay, so we can weld these up, and it would probably be okay but I'm not gonna take that risk. So anytime you weld something on steering or whatever like that, you wanna make sure that you are protected from it breaking. So I took this piece of 5 inch solid stock. If I had tubing, I would've used it, but I don't have any. This slips right inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back here, we're gonna drill two holes here and here, and we'll plug weld this, then our uh, handlebar pieces we're gonna drill two holes in this then this will go in here it'll allow us to pivot and move and get set it won't be as difficult to uh, set up our weld but also more to the point 
it won't allow this to move. So it won't be able to bend or fatigue because anytime you're welding on this, it's, it, you just, you're running a risk and I don't want to take that risk. So this gives us more safety. Got it. First thing I'm going to do is weld these plugs. One little pack, check everything, make sure that these fit. They do. And then I'm just going to weld this up. Send it. So we have completely stripped our Honda Helix. We've modded the handlebars and we've come up with somewhat of a game plan on how we're going to do the rest of it. So we're going to come back tomorrow, start doing some more stuff, and we'll have another episode ready for you in a few days. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Let's make magic.